I will now begin the presentation of our group. How often do you eat breakfast? Some of you may eat it every day without fry, while others may eat it only occasionally. Having breakfast is very good for your health. Breakfast gives you energy and allows you to be active in the morning. It is the same for both Japanese and Taiwanese. Therefore, our theme this time is the difference between Japanese and Taiwanese breakfast and how to make them. We will talk about what features and differences there are between Japanese and Taiwanese breakfast. We also introduce the ingredients commonly used in each breakfast so you can try making breakfast in each other's country. We encourage you to listen to this presentation and try making and eating Taiwanese breakfast for Japanese students and Japanese breakfast for Taiwanese students. The differences in traditional breakfast are not only due to food differences, but also due to culture and history differences. Let's learn about each other's culture and history by learning about the characteristic of each other's breakfast. Now let's move on to our presentation. Do you eat breakfast every day? Have you ever eaten Taiwanese and Japanese breakfast? Although Taiwan and Japan are both Asian countries, different cultures and lifestyle can lead to the differences between Taiwanese and Japanese breakfast, so do the ingredients. In Taiwan, most people tend to have their breakfast outside. We can get our breakfast at various places, like the convenience stores, the chain breakfast stores, and the fast food restaurants. We can divide the breakfast into two types in Taiwan. The first kind of breakfast is Western style. For example, breads with jam, sandwiches, milk tea, coffee, and hamburgers are all Western style breakfasts that are commonly seen in Taiwan. Another kind is Taiwanese style, including Chinese omelets, rice balls, radish cakes, clay over rolls, congees, steamed buns, and soy milk. These are traditional Taiwanese breakfasts, and most of them are made by flour, eggs, pickles, and rice. With much oil and after fried, these ingredients can made into Taiwanese breakfast. As for Japanese breakfast, the traditional style including rice, tamagoyaki, miso soup, and grilled fish. Japanese people would have this kind of breakfast at home if they are not in a hurry in the morning. Otherwise, they will go to the convenience stores and grab a bread or rice bowl like Taiwanese people usually do. The traditional Japanese breakfasts are made by rice, tofu, kelp, miso, fish, pickle, vegetables, nado, and eggs. These ingredients would be made into various of Japanese-style delicious breakfasts. Among all the ingredients, nado is the special one. Being a food that is a little bit mysterious to most people, natto is made by fermented soya beans. There is evidence that natto is good for our cardiovascular and digestive system, can make our bones stronger, and strengthen our immune system. Many people say that Japanese breakfast is healthy and light. It is not only because of the ingredients, but also their ways of cooking. From all the information above, Japanese breakfast is lighter than Taiwanese style, it's not that greasy, and both two styles of breakfast have ingredients in common, like rice and eggs. My part is going to talk about how to make breakfast in Taiwan. Uh, most Taiwanese people's favorite breakfast is omelette. 
So today I want to introduce this traditional breakfast in Taiwan. And the first step is to make an omelette crust. You need to mix the madu gluten flour, sweet potato flour, a cup of water, a little salt, and an appropriate amount of green onion, and an egg into omelette flour. But if you want the crust to have crispy taste, you can change to use the high gluten flour. And the second step is to coat the oil in a cold pan. Spoon in a tablespoon of powder and then shake the body of the pan to make it evenly covered with the surface of the pan. And heat it until it scaldifies. But if you want a little crispy, you can set it on medium heat and then turn in, turn on medium heat to make the edge a little hot. And the next step is pour the green onion juice into the pan and cover the crust. Turn it back and forth and fry it several times until the egg is cooked and the omelette is golden yellow that means it's finished and then you can roll up the omelette and put it on the plate then add in some favorite stuffing like meat flour flours or tuna or some special favorite like kimchi or rose meat and that's a way how to make omelette thank you i will talk about japanese breakfast japanese food has a style called ichiju sansai this is a meal that consists of rice soup and three side dishes based on this format Rice and miso soup is usually served at every meal in Japan. Fish is often served as the main dish. Then, vegetables and eggs are served as side dishes. Examples of typical breakfast menus are rice, miso soup, grilled salmon, rolled omelette, and boiled spinach with soy sauce. Today, I will introduce how to make miso soup and rolled omelette. Miso soup has five basic ingredients. They are miso, dashi, wakame, tofu, and green onion. First, cut tofu into pieces in the shape of a dice, and cut the green onion into 2 mm thick slice diagonally. Next, put the dashi in a pot and heat it up. Then, Add the tofu and cook over medium heat for about one minute. In addition, add dried wakame seaweed and cook for one minute. Finally, dissolve the miso in the soup, add the green onions, and warm through. There are many various of ingredients for miso soup. Fried tofu, potatoes, radish and onions are also popular in addition to the example ingredients. Next, I will introduce how to make rolled omelette. The ingredients for rolled omelette are eggs, soy sauce, sugar, dashi, mirin, and salt. First, mix all ingredients together. Next, heat the oil in the omelette machine. Then, pour in a thin layer of a quarter of the egg mixture and spread it evenly. When the eggs begin to set, use chopsticks to roll the eggs from the back to the front and then pull the rolled eggs to the edges. Pour the egg mixture into the empty space in the rolled omelette machine and repeat the same process until all the egg mixture is used up. When the rolled omelette is cooked, 
cut it into bite-sized pieces. It's ready to eat. This is all for my presentation. Hi, I'm Leroy. I'll be in charge of concluding the presentation. Although Taiwan is not very far away from Japan, the only thing we have in common while having breakfast is the ingredients. Due to the fact that both of the countries are located in Asia, having rice, pickled greens, and fish for breakfast is widely accepted among people, while people from Europe or America find it odd having these ingredients in breakfast. However, sharing same ingredients doesn't necessarily mean our breakfast would turn out to be the same. A country's culture also plays an important part in shaping their diet's habit. The reason why Taiwanese people tend to have greasier, high calories food for breakfast is because that back in the days when Taiwan was still a rather underdeveloped society, people need food that could provide lots of energy for labor. That's also why you can see people having rice with braised pork belly for their breakfast. Although the percentage of labors has been dropping, the diet habit passed down still. On the other hand, Japan is famous for its light diet habit. In fact, there are several studies indicate that Japanese people are more likely to live longer than people from any other country due to their light diet habit. As tsuji san mentioned earlier, the said Ichiju Sansai is very healthy because there is no excessive usage of seasoning and it provides various nutrients that human body needs. At last, even though both kinds of breakfast differ from each other, they are both delicious and worth trying. Next morning when you wake up, consider yourself which kind of breakfast you'll feel like having for the day.